To sew a double pointed dart, first I used tracing paper in a wheel to draw the lines and then I outlined them darker with a fabric pencil just to make it easier to see. And this is drawn on the wrong side of the fabric. And now I fold the fabric, the dart, in half and I put a pin at the middle, making sure that that center line is right down the middle. And then I put a pin at one end, at the very tip. Then I line it up underneath the foot and I'm not using a seam allowance guide now, I'm using the line that I drew, the outside curved line. I put the needle down, foot down, take that first pin out, and I start to sew, and I'm not going to reverse. I'm starting in the middle of the dart, and I'm going toward one tip. So I'm sewing right on the line that I drew, getting very close to the pin, and I get as close to the edge as possible. I sew to the very last stitch. And I don't reverse. I lift my needle, lift my foot, pull the thread long, cut it halfway so that I have an extension of thread at the tip of the dart, and then a good 10 to 15 centimeters left at the needle so it doesn't unthread. And then I'm going to hand tie a knot. I'll make a loop, pull it through, hold it. I'll do it three times and holding it each time so the knot gets bigger. You never reverse on the tip of a dart because it's too easy to go off the edge. And a dart has to go right at the edge so that it is not obvious. Now turn it over, cut those threads from when you first start it in the middle, and throw a pin at the end, making sure that that center line remains right in the middle and that you've pinned it right where the dart ends. Line it up where you started sewing on the other side in the middle. L align your stitches, go a stitch or two, reverse a stitch or two right in the middle and now follow that same line going down in the other direction. Getting close to the pin, I'll take it out but I see where my line ends and I go right as close to the edge as possible. I even sew one stitch off the edge without fabric. Then lift the needle, lift the foot, pull the threads long, cut them in the middle, and again hand tie that knot, never reversing on the tip of a dart. You want this dart to be very discreet and not to look bunchy or puckered. So I tie it three times so that the knot gets bigger, cut the threads, and then cut the other threads at the middle, and bring it to the steamer for pressing. So the dart on the right side doesn't look so great. It needs to be pressed. So I'm using a seam roll, or you can use a tailoring ham, and I place it wrong side up. I stretch it a bit tight with my fingers, I pick a side, and I press from the point to the middle on one side, flip it around, and do the same thing. Pull it tight, and press from the point up to the center. And then I flip it over and do the same thing again on the good side. Now, if, there, if this were a garment, the rule of thumb when pressing darts is press toward the center. But this is a single dart on a sample, so you just pick a side and press. And now the dart looks much better. It now has shape, and this is used often at a waist, below the bust and down to the hip, and it gives shape and curve to a garment.